Good morning, Britain. Deborah James, the cancer-stricken star and campaigner, has been made a Dane by the Queen. Uh, she has raised more than £3.8 million for charity after announcing earlier this week that she was receiving end-of-life care. Downing Street says that the Queen is pleased to approve that the honour of damehood be conferred upon Deborah James. Balbabe says she is blown away and crying. Also on the programme, as Moscow reacts with fury to Finland's decision to join the Western Alliance, soldiers from NATO countries are taking part in war games. Well, Ben, we've been given special access with the British military here in North Macedonia. There are thousands of British troops and, yes, lots of heavy equipment here as well. They know that Russia is watching. Well, in Ukraine for us this morning is Richard Gaysford. Well, here in Ukraine, we're going to see the first war crimes trial since Vladimir Putin ordered the invasion back in February. A court in Kyiv will hear the case of a 21-year-old Russian tank commander accused of killing a 62-year-old civilian. Also, I didn't care if I lived or died, the words of boxer Ricky Hatton, who is speaking out about his past struggles with mental health. He's joining us alongside his son, Campbell, who is continuing his father's boxing legacy. And MB's medals and music will be joined by Mel B as she talks about meeting royalty alongside her daughter Phoenix, who hopes to reach the top of the medals table on tonight's final ITV's The Games. And with it warming up this weekend, will Britain's new blue flag beaches like this one be top of your list? I'll bring you the weekend forecast live from Avon Beach in Dorset. All that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Friday, 13th of May, 2022, live from Television Centre in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Ben Shepherd and Kate Garraway. Hi there, good morning. It has just gone six o'clock. Welcome to the programme. Uh, absolutely thrilled for Deborah James. Oh, uh, that is, she's wonderful. Been made a it pinged up on my phone as a news alert.